Hi, I'm Rachel Monero, and I'm here to share with you some tips and best practices you can use when designing your synchronous and asynchronous online lessons. I hold a Master's of Education in Instructional Technology from Wayne State University. The content that I'm going to share with you comes from these two pieces of work. You can find a link to these books in the handout located in the information box below this video. During our time together, you're going to learn how the mind takes in multimedia content and the principles you can use to enhance your lesson design. So why does this matter? As a teacher, you're currently being asked to create synchronous and asynchronous lessons. For many of you, this is new and can feel quite overwhelming. There's an entire branch of research, though, that is dedicated to helping instructors create multimedia content that maximizes students' understanding. By learning these evidence-based guidelines, you can incorporate them into your instruction and enhance your students' ability to understand and learn. I've broken up the learning into four short videos. Each video includes a handout that has key terms and graphics for you to reference. So let's get started.